Hey guys, it's Tartha Flippin' Hippo. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel at Flippin' Hippos. Today is Wednesday, October 17th, and as you can see, I'm wearing my plushy queen crown, which means we're doing a haul video. Two of my favorite things in one. Haul videos, I love to do them, and I love plush. I told you guys yesterday, of those of you that watched my haul video yesterday, Keith and I went to three Goodwills last Sunday. We bought quite a bit, and I didn't want to have one super duper long video, so I split my haul into two videos this week. Yesterday was closed today is plush so let's just jump right on into it we're gonna start with my fun shine bear this care bear is um, it is fun shine bear <laughs> I was guessing at his name but it says it on the tag that's awesome he um, cost 50 cents I'm gonna show you guys a lot of plushies that I got for 50 cents I have no depth perception sorry for 50 cents this week um, the Goodwill that's closest to us is the only Goodwill in the area that does this, but they have a shopping cart at the front of the store that they put all the plush that doesn't move into, and they're all 50 cents a piece. They used to be three for a dollar, and then they upped their price to 50 cents, but I'm still okay with that, um, especially when I dig through and I find a lot of great finds. This came from a different Goodwill. It was nine. Can you see that? 99 cents. I had a Bugs Bunny last week, I got, showed you guys in my haul video last week, that came from the same Goodwill, and this is the same brand, Play by Play, if you can see that, and it's a Tweety Bird laying, um, laying down. So I think my theory is that the Tweety and the Bugs Bunny were probably there together the last time we went, and I didn't dig down far enough to find Tweety, but I found um, Bugs Bunny. These two were 99 cents each. And they are little Steelers bears. Now she looks like she probably had a pom-pom at one time. See that yarn on her paw? So I'll just disclose that in photos and in the description that she may have had a pom-pom and she's got some yarn going on. But she is cute. She's got a little cheerleader's outfit on, little bloomers. And he's got on like a little jersey. So I'll sell the two of these together as a lot. I did find a big old Snoopy this weekend. He's got on this nice winter hat, this flap hat, and this puffy coat. And he's a Macy's Snoopy. He was a dollar ninety-nine. I haven't pulled his tag off of this yet because a lot of times when they stick the price tag to their tush tag, you have to um, you have to be super duper careful when you pull them off because they can pull off the writing from the tag. So I um, will do that later and I'll have to be super careful. Um, I got another Snoopy. This one is a graduation Snoopy and it, he's got um, writing all over him. So he's supposed to look like everyone signed him, like a yearbook or whatever. Um, and he's got the graduation cap with the tassel and he was in the 50 cent spin. He did not have a price tag on him, but they went ahead and honored the fact that he was in there. And then this is so cute. This is the unicorn from, um, Despicable Me. Look at his face. He's cute. He's chubby. He's a cute stuffed animal. So this one was 99 cents. It is uh, Despicable Me, still has the hang tag, has a nice tush tag, no writing or anything. Because of time. <laughs> so cute. Okay, and this was out of the 50 cent spin. This is Twilight Sparkle. This is probably the 7th or 8th TY. Little tiny Twilight Sparkle. I've had whenever I find them at the bends when I'm paying by weight. Or I find them for 50 cents or less. I will pick up these TY Twilight Sparkles. I usually get $12 for these. So that is a good find. This was 50 cents. I cannot believe that it didn't move before they marked it down to 50 cents. It is TY, but that is okay because look who it is, folks. This is Garfield. He's got um, a nice collar on. He's just super, like his face, he's so cute. <laughs> for 50 cents absolutely this one was another one that was in the bin that did not have a price tag on it but they honored it um, the Google that's closest to us a they know us there and they're really nice to us and a lot of times when things aren't marked 
they will give us a really good deal. And I also think that the girls that work there on Sunday um, are the ones that put these in the bin so they can kind of remember which ones were in there. And they know I'm not going to try to cheat them out of, um, I'm not, I mean, I'm honest. So if it wasn't in the 50 cent bin, I tell them I found this on the shelf. No price tag or I tell them I found it in the bin. And then they'll honor it for me. But this is Harry Potter official Hedwig, the little owl from the movies. I believe it was um, the Weasley's Owl, right? And um, we got three of these guys. Now, we did pay $2.99 for each one, but that's okay. I'm probably going to sell them in a set. Once I comp them, um, I'll decide if I'm going to sell them in a set or individually. But I was absolutely okay with paying $3 for each one of these. If you look at their tag, they are, if you can see that, probably can't. There you go. And Yasha, so they're official. Um plushies from the anime Inuyasha and they all are in really good shape. I don't know the characters from Inuyasha you guys. Um, the only memory I have of Inuyasha was my kids watching it and if I felt like all anybody ever did on that show was yell each other's names out. Here's the third one. And I'll, I just remember hearing Inuyasha! 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 So I never really got into that one, so I don't know the characters. Like I said, I'll have to look them up and comp them. Um, but yeah, I'm really tickled pink. I think those were really good finds. Here's another 50 center from the bucket that didn't have a tag. It's Disney. It's just a cute little Minnie Mouse with high heels on and her um, pink and white polka dot dress and her bow on her head for 50 cents, especially because she has um, the official Disney on her tush tag. So we are down to the final two plush. And I'm gonna tell you folks, these are the best two of the weekend. This is Scooby-Doo. And he um, was started out at $3.99, but he was a red tag. So I paid 99 cents for Scooby-Doo, dressed up as a detective, as Sherlock Holmes. So this was a really, really super good find. Um, official Cartoon Network tush tag. He still got his Cartoon Network hang tag. And I actually already have uh, some interest in him. I put up a picture of him and my other friend over here, um, a picture of them in the trunk while we were out sourcing. And I've had several people ask me about him. Um, I need to comp him and do a little more research. Unfortunately, I've seen people sell him for as low as like eight dollars free ship but i've seen them go for 60 and 80. so i'm gonna have to sit down and really super duper look at the comps really well and figure out what i'm willing to sell him for um so he will not be getting photographed or going up on ebay for a while i want to figure out um what if i were to put him on ebay what would i price him at and then um knock some money off obviously for a discount for not paying all the fees um, because if I sell them to anyone that was interested in him, they'll, I'll send them an invoice right through PayPal. And so that saves on some of the fees and stuff. So, um, yeah, he's not, don't be surprised if you don't see him on eBay. I'm going to figure out how much I want for him minus eBay fees and, um, probably another little bit of a discount just for, for people who've seen him that know me on Instagram and in the Facebook groups that were interested in him and, um, offer him out in order of people who asked. Um, my first interested party was actually in Casey's VIP group. And if they passed, like I said, I kept the list of people who asked in order. Um, everyone asked in messages or like I said, in the VIP group where they had timestamps and the date. So I can, I can honestly see who asked first and go down the list and offer him accordingly until someone says yes, or if they all say no, then he'll go on eBay. But he had a lot of interest. Um, and he was just like a, not even that really great of a picture from the trunk. So that was kind of cool. All right, this guy was the best find, probably not just of the weekend, not just of Sunday. This is the best find of 2018. Y'all, this is Stripe. Y'all remember Stripe. He was the gremlin with the white stripe of hair. Um, 
I paid two ninety nine for him, and I ain't afraid to tell you I was willing to pay two ninety nine for him. Um, if I was willing to pay two ninety nine for any Asha characters, you better believe I'm willing to pay two ninety nine for a Gremlin. This is Stripe the Gremlin. He is an applause plush. Well, book his tail hit his tag, and it actually says Gremlins on the plush in 1984. So he is vintage. He is from 1984, and the tag actually does say Gremlins. I'm gonna try to show you guys. See where it says Gremlins? And he actually got a lot of attention too. People were very excited to see him. So he's a vintage gremlin. And he's gonna be a hard one for me to photograph and list. He needs some cleaning up. He definitely has some um, spots on him. I'll clean up with the awesome and he needs some lint rolling. And um, he's gonna be a hard one to let go of. Um, but I like money and I like selling the things I source and not keeping them. So I'll have to comp him and see what he's worth. Isn't he cute? This is my favorite. This is my best find of 2018, um, no doubt. So that's the plush we got last Sunday. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And are any of you out sourcing plushies or have you found any awesome, amazing vintage plush lately? Let me know. Do me a favor and smash that like button if you would. And if you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to our channel and help us feed Hungry Hippo. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We're at Flippin' Hippos. You guys have a good night.